Hi, Luke. This is Agent Lee calling from the Colorado Bureau of Investigation. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Hey, I'm just down here in Frederick helping with the missing person case. Okay. And I was just wondering if I could ask you some questions about Chris. Yeah, let me, uh, give me like two seconds so I can get pulled over on the side of the road. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So, Luke, how long has... So, are you uh, Chris's supervisor, or what is your title? Yeah, I'm his direct supervisor, yeah. Direct supervisor, okay. And what is your title? I'm a production foreman. Production foreman, okay. And how long has Chris worked for you? Uh, since... It would have been April of 2016. when I first came back over to this group, and he was already in the, in the group. Okay, and we're, so right now we're kind of trying to scour his cell phone and uh, GPS records from his truck. Okay. Can you kind of tell, like, explain to me, like, Monday morning, where would he go to go to his job site? So, first thing Monday, we were working, or we had planned on working uh, out by Rogan, which is, I don't know if you're familiar with it or not, but yeah. it's east of... Uh, East of Brighton, about 30 miles or so. Okay. And uh, we had a couple wells over there that we were trying to get running, and he was headed straight out there. Okay. Did he ever show up there? Yes. Okay. Do you know about what time he got there? Uh, off the top of my head, without looking at his GPS, no, I don't. Okay. So he shows that about 6.53 he arrived at an address near Kingsburg. Would that be close by? Yeah. Yeah, okay. that would be... Uh, probably 10, 15 minutes away right there. Okay. And then how long were you guys there? So I was not out on location. Okay. Um, my guys work for the most part, you know, they're not supervised directly. If they have problems, they call me, but they're self-sufficient, so. Okay. Um, he, my understanding is he was out there pretty much all day on what's called the Survey Ranch. Um, Servi, is that what you said? Yeah, it's C E R V I. Servi Ranch, okay. Um, we have several wells out there, and him and a few of my other uh, guys were out there pretty much all day with him. Okay. Until he until he left to go home, he called me to let me know that Shannon was couldn't get a hold of her. Okay. And then, can you tell me how your GPS works? Like, is it when you start your car, or when the car moves, or what triggers that? Uh, so both. So when the ignition um, is, well, basically when the key's turned on, the GPS is on. So whenever the vehicle is started, I mean, it records stops and starts and how long the trip was, how long they drove, those sorts of things. Okay. And then can you kind of explain to me um, the conversation that he had, I believe, with you on the 7th about maybe splitting up from his wife or? Yeah, so, well, and he didn't say necessarily that they were going to be split, and he just told me that they were having some having some issues that they were trying to work out. Um, he did notify me that he would be, he, if I saw anything goofy on his um, geotab, which is his GPS, that uh, it may be because he was going to be staying with a friend. Okay. Did he give you any indication who that friend would be? He did not. Okay. How close are you to um, Chris? I mean, he, he's, he's uh, one of 13 guys that I have working for me. Okay. But like, like I said earlier, we've been working together for a little over two years, so... Like, are you guys going to barbecues on the weekends or, like, no, concerts no. or... Okay. It's strictly work. Strictly work. Okay. Who would you say he's the closest to at work? Um, probably Troy McCoy. Okay. That's in my, in 
Mike Groot. He's another uh, one of the guys that works for me. Okay. Um, but I would say he is he is probably closest with Troy. Okay. Did you were you aware that he went to a Rockies game on Sunday? I was not. Okay. Do you have any idea if like he has like a girlfriend or if he thought his wife had a boyfriend or anything like that? He never indicated or said anything to me that would that made me think that. He never came out and said one way for him or his wife. Okay. And did he ever go into any details at any time about what kind of troubles that they had? No, and and I it's one of those deals, you know, being that it was at work, that's personal. Sure. You know, if it's going to affect him at work then I would like to know about it, but I didn't pry on anything. I wasn't gonna dig into his personal life or anything. Okay. Do you know, um, as far as like his work truck now can he drive that like on the weekends and when he's not working or is that pretty much to be driven while he's working yeah that's just just for work just for work okay yeah. and he does work um an occasional weekend not as much anymore but he does uh, on occasion he will come out for on the weekend to work okay so he would be driving it then but and as far as like um if there's like addresses on his GPS that aren't don't look like they're like cell site, you know, or well sites, um, could he take his truck to like pick up dinner before he got home, or you know, run an errand? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, so long as they're not driving thirty, forty miles out of their way to to go somewhere, I kind of, you know, life happens. We got all we got families to take care of, so if they need to run errands on their way home, I have no problem at all with that. Okay. Um, what about? Sorry, go ahead. That's kind of been that's kind of our company policy. There's nothing really set in stone on that, but it's just a you don't use your pickup for anything but work. But you know, if you got to swing by a kids ball game or get groceries or dinner on the way home, go ahead. Okay. And as far as um, having other people in his truck, is there a rule against that? Um, is there Anadarko employees or embedded contractors within the company? No. Um, we don't generally let, um, we're not the military or law enforcement, but I don't know what other words to use. We don't generally let civilians in, to, in the, to ride along with them in the vehicles. So could he go pick up his kids from school, like by policy, or? If he needed to, yes. Okay. Do you know, are you aware if his wife or kids have ever been in his truck? Not to my knowledge, no. He's never said anything to me anyway. Okay. And do you know what he drives when he's not at work? I do not know. Okay. Do you have um, any idea about his financial situation? No, I do not. Okay. Um, have you ever talked? Has he ever talked about his wife? Uh, a little bit, most, more often times than not. He has daughters, and I have daughters, so we talk about kids more than we talk about wives. But okay, uh, I know both of his his kids were have been pretty sick over the past couple of years. So you know, he would talk a little bit about the stress that that puts on him and and his wife especially, but. Okay. Never really got into any detail or anything like that. Did he tell you that his wife was pregnant? Yes. Okay. And what was, did he, what did he, how did he act when he told you that? Uh, he wanted me to kind of keep it secret for a little while because he hadn't told hardly anybody yet. I don't know that he actually even told his family yet, but he was, when he told, talked to me about it, he was pretty excited. Okay. And the, on the 7th or whenever that was um, that he talked about having some issues with his wife and maybe going to stay somewhere else, has he ever talked prior to that about having issues with his wife? Um, no. Has anyone else at work talked about it? If they have, they've never talked to me about it. Okay. Did you have any suspicion that maybe he was having some issues? Not until he actually came to me, closed the door, and said, 
you know, and told me that at that first time. Okay. And where did you start seeing his um, GPS being logged um, after he said that? Um, he, so, per our discussion, I told him, if you're going to go somewhere, just shoot me a text or give me a call, let me know. That way I know to look for it. Because I don't check those guys' GPS every day. Okay. Um, so, I until today, I had not pulled up his GPS. Had he ever sent you a text saying he was staying somewhere else besides his house? No. Okay. Were you aware that his wife was on a trip? Uh, yeah, he told me that she was going out of state. I can't remember the dates on it, but... Okay, is that why he asked for time off of work, or...? Uh, I'm assuming so, yeah. Okay. Do you know, like, who he's close to outside of work? I don't. Okay. And when he's at work, like, does he, um, he has a personal phone and a work phone, it looks like. Does he usually have both of them with him, have you seen, or do you know? Uh, I don't know. A lot of my guys do that, and they will carry both of them at work, but to say that, yeah, I know he carried them both at work, I can't say that. Okay. Have you had any, like, disciplinary issues with him, or...? Okay. Um, but no, he has been nothing but a good employee. Okay. Have you ever seen him lose his temper or anything? No. Okay. Do you have any concerns about him? I don't. Um, other than, you know, just being concerned that he's for what he's going through right now. Okay. But I mean, it, you know, I don't, I have never seen or heard anything that would make me concerned about Chris. Okay. Have you talked to him since all of this has happened? Yeah. So I talked to him last night and then again this morning. Okay. Well, I guess it was this afternoon. Okay. And how did he seem when you talked to him? theories about where his wife and kids could be? No, I mean, the, from the way he described it to me, he said, Luke, it's like something out of a out of a freaking movie or a TV show. He said, all of her stuff is still at the house. The kids' stuff is still at the house. It's just like she disappeared. Okay. What, it, what exactly did he tell you about what happened?
texted him last night, uh, I would say probably nine-ish, mm -hmm. just to ask him, you know, hey, any update, just making sure everything was okay. He called me back immediately and just was like, they're still gone. Um, the police have came and searched my house. They had a warrant. They searched the vehicles. Um, and he even talked about coming into work today and Fortunately, he decided not to do that just because he didn't get much sleep last night. But, uh, but that's like I said, that's what he told me. He said it's like something out of a movie. He said she's just gone. Her, her, well, her, her purse is here. Her ID is here. Her car is here. The keys are here. The kids' medic medicine is still here. She's just disappeared. Okay. And then. When I talked to him today, that was our conversation last night. When I talked to him today, he's, like I said, he's a bit of an introvert. He's tired. He, he doesn't want to talk to any more media. Um, he was kind of looking to, hey, can I come back to work to get a break from this? And like I say, that's where our HR decided not to, not to let that happen. Okay. Um, Luke, I, I think I'm getting pulled away to do something else, so um, can I call you back like later if I have some more questions? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I appreciate it very much. You bet. Thank you, bye.